Future chefs, what's good? Chef John the building. Thank you. Remember, before anything, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe below on this video. All my future chefs in the Twin Cities and around the world, whoever you may be, I am Chef Ja. I'm in the building, or like I say, I'm always in my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to chop or mince garlic, okay? Yes, that stinky bulb of garlic that's so hard to get off of your fingers and your hands. Some people use gloves because it's so tedious and they can't stand the smell of garlic. It can be very pungent. After you slice and chop garlic, you could, it seems like you wash your hands four to five, eight times, right? And you'll still smell the faint smell of garlic. That's perfectly fine. Again, it's it, it's garlic. It's going to get, you want to get rid of it. Some people really can't stand it. I work in food with food all the time, in food and with food all the time. So it doesn't bother me. You can wear gloves. You don't have to wear gloves. Your preference, totally fine. But I have some pieces of garlic here. I had a whole bulb, but I'm going to just use like, I have like half a bulb here because again, I am prepping for a meal. So you don't need that much. Here's the funny thing about garlic. When you have uh, garlic, again, I'm just peeling. I'm just peeling. You want to remove as much skin as possible. All the skin, actually. And when you have garlic, I found out a really nice technique. When you have a whole bulb of garlic, what you do is you'll take a container, right? Like, I have some quart containers like these. And I have lids. And you'll put a bulb of garlic in the container. Put the whole bulb in. Shake it hard. Shake it violently for like... 15 20 seconds when you pop open the top it's like peeling the garlic itself you will see that you'll have all these pieces of bulbs of garlic sitting in there remove all the skin in the film and you will have all these fresh freshly peeled garlic uh, garlic bulbs that you'll have it's like i won't call it magic but it's just a technique i picked that up i've been doing it ever since but i'm just going to show you the proper technique of peeling and chopping some garlic here i'm just going to peel a little bit off of my hands Sometimes I like to I like to slice off the root because once you slice off the root, you're good to go, and everything else will just peel itself off, like so. I hope y'all doing good this evening. You know it's about about 7 p.m. on the dot where I'm at right now, and um, I'm just cooling, man. When I be in the kitchen, shout out to all my people that cook out there. When I'm in the kitchen, I love to vibe the music, but as I grow and all that thing, as I grow. My business grows, the page grows. I play more and more music because I like the I like the vibe, man. When I'm cooking, man, they just gotta. My grandma and everybody else that used to cook in the kitchen always say, "You gotta cook with passion. You gotta cook with love." And you know, when we be in the kitchen, you gotta have a good time. You know, I, I strongly feel like if you're in a bad mood, having a bad attitude, you should not be in the kitchen. It's something about that connection, whether it's spiritual, whatever it is that may be. The food just comes out so much better. When you're in a good mood. So remember that. And all these years I've been cooking, it's pretty much therapeutic for me. So even sometimes I've learned that even if I'm not in a good mood and I, I know something that I prepped earlier that I'm going to make or cook with, just putting myself in the kitchen and starting cooking it puts me in a better mood. The music does too, but you get my point. <laughs> all right. So I got a couple bulbs of garlic peeled here. And... Depending on what you're doing with it, well, I'm not going to get into all that. I'll just start with this here. So I got my couple uh, bulbs of garlic. You take the back of your knife, right, right on top of the garlic, and try to go lower towards the uh, base of the knife, not towards towards the edge or the middle. Go to the base. And you're just going to give it a quick little pound, just like that. And then you have your crushed garlic. As soon as you crush garlic bulbs, it starts to release the chemicals and the smells. And that's when you'll get that, that pungent smell on your fingers and all that whatnot. Because it's releasing its oils. It's releasing its smells. Okay? It's much more complicated to chop garlic when it's in the, when it's in the entirety of its bulb. So just give it a quick little pound. I do a couple of times, especially for those big pieces. Just like that. You see that? When it sticks to the back of your knife, that's what you want. And that makes it so easy to chop garlic. Now, what I didn't show you in the last video, because it was an onion, and it was a chopping method, you didn't have to do that. But when you're slicing, especially when you're going smaller, it's important, I'm going to show the long way, when you're slicing, to grip. I'm left-handed, so bear with me. 
Grip the back of your knife. It's a preference, but it's, it's the preference that works for me. Grip the back of your knife and you're going to slice. You're going to rock the boat. It's important that the bottom of your knife here never leaves the surface. This helps with slice. It helps the speed of your slicing and it helps the um, it helps you to slice more equal if that makes more sense. So you're not everywhere. You shouldn't be slicing like that. Up, down, up, down. Remind yourself, never do that on video because that's dangerous. See, I'm not going to cut myself. I'm just trying to show you guys to be on the safe side. Remember, safety first. But you want to rock the boat. That's what we call it. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And later throughout the videos, when I show you how to slice other things, I'm going to naturally go a little bit faster to show you. Okay? Back and forth. Grip the back of the knife here. Strongly. Back and forth. Alright? So I'm going to slice this garlic here. It's kind of hard to, to curl in your fingernails with these. So just do the best you can. And I'm going to just slice. And I'm doing a mince. So that's why I'm going back and forth multiple times. And so then after I slice it one way, I turn the garlic around and I do the same thing. Now when you mince garlic, eventually it's going to get chopped up to the point where it doesn't matter what it looks like. A mince just means, as another word for a fine chop, a very small chop. That way garlic is very strong. So you can chop a lot of it and it goes a long way. A little goes a long way, but for someone like me and other chefs out there, You'll hear a lot of us say, you can never have